that's really the downside of deregulation. Mm. Uh, itong regulatory capture. Mm. Uh, eventually, our regulators are uh, shackled uh, because there are, halimbawa, uh, uh, dito sa uh, uh, Downstream Industry Regulation Act, no? Oh. Oil Deregulation Act. There are provisions there na talagang para powerless ang DOE. No? Yeah. Uh, pagdating naman doon sa IPIRA, mm -hmm. the ERC is, like for example, just now, as in the issue of competitive selection process, no? Mm. Uh, bago lang na-resolve yan. Sino ba Supreme talaga? Supreme Court yan. Oh, dumating pa ng Supreme Court yan. So, mm. yung regulatory capture talaga, that's the big problem, no? Mm. So, that's the problem. Captured yung market. At ang... Uh, at yung regulator capture. Ang regulator <laughs> capture. Mm. Saan, saan susulo yung... Uh, saan pupunta ang ating mga consumers, no? Mm -hmm. And uh, especially what is happening now in the world... Uh, uh, situation, no? itong mm. mga nangyayari ngayon, Middle trade East. wars mm. sa Middle East. Uh, so, uh, I, I, in fact, I'm expecting that uh, in the coming months, mag-spike talaga yung world well, price. Exactly that, because I mentioned that yes in yesterday's program, mm. that between Iran and the U.S., China and the U.S., mm. the coming of, the, the onset of autumn yes. or fall yeah, and winter demand, yeah. we are all looking at nightmare prices. Mm.